Hello all, welcome to RAD Labs with me Rohant and today we are going to touch base upon a brand new subject which is iMessages and we are going to see how to build a sticker pack app in less than 5 minutes. Let's get started. So this tutorial is all about creating a sticker pack app. So when we open the Xcode, you just need to select the sticker pack app as a project type and then click next. And over here, uh, maybe you can just give a uh, sticker uh, pack as a name. Okay, and then just click next. And I will just say create. All right, so now it has created a sticker pack project for you. So once your project is loaded, just head down to stickers. And over here, uh, you can see a specific area where you need to upload your PNGs, your sticker pack PNGs. Okay, so these are the stickers basically that you will be using within your app. So I've already downloaded the sticker packs for this tutorial. Uh, as I always recommend, uh, and uh, based on the Apple's recommendation, uh, they have asked us to have a sticker pack size of 618. Uh, pixels okay so if you refer to the uh, apple's documentation for this particular uh, sticker pack app extension uh, what we are doing is we are having an upward bound of 618 pixels so you need to resize your image to the largest point available uh, which is 618 pixels okay which is the 3x uh, of the size and it will uh, automatically generate the 1x and the 2x versions of it so what i've done is i have downloaded the sticker pack uh, of uh, uh, from a source okay which is licensed and uh, what we have done is uh, the highest uh, size available over there was 512 so we resized it to uh, 618 pixels okay so you need to do this so that it will downsize on the system itself which is uh, to 1x and 2x respectively so if you are not able to see the stickers on your app you need to first check this particular uh, size which should be 618 pixels so once you're done that uh, we will go back to our app and over here what we're going to do is we are just going to drag in uh, just two images okay uh, into our app uh, section which is the sticker pack section and if you expand this you'll be able to see the same stickers all right so <clears throat> next thing what we're going to do is we are going to add in the app icon yes this is really important guys uh, again uh, so the first point over here which you need to remember is you need to have the 618 pixels size to be defined on a sticker pack second you need to have your app icons ready uh, it is only then that you'll be able to see the uh, the stickers on an ios simulator or on your device okay so uh, i have that ready as well uh let me just open up my folder so i have that ready over here so again i'll just try to drag and drop again uh, if you're not familiar with this particular interface uh, it has got different kinds of dimensions uh, to the app icon okay so you need to drag and drop it over here so that this will be reflected on your ios platform all right so my app icon set is ready and i have selected the iphone 13 as a simulator so let's run this All right, so the build is successful. The app icon is also seen over here and voila, we have the, the sticker pack. So I uh, am just going to send this to uh, John Appleseed. Okay, so I'm just going to click this over here and I'm going to send this. Okay, it's delivered. So it's delivered to whom? It's delivered, oh, the app has crashed. <laughs> so it's delivered to the person I've sent it to. Um, no, it's not gone. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, it shows delivered over here. Uh, let's go back. Open this up. Yes, it is received over here. So this is how you build a, a sticker pack app. And again, if you want to select another one, you can just do that. It's delivered. And let's go to this particular contact and yes it shows delivered so this is how you build a sticker pack app just keep note on the points i have told you first is uh, you need to set up the app icons to have 618 pixels second you need to have the app icons ready one more important point over here before we close down on this particular session is like you can specify the sticker size to be 
uh, three column or four column so we had seen the medium level of it so if you want two column which is high okay so the sticker pack will be uh, big okay the stickers will be big within the uh, the app tray okay so we'll just see that as well so let's open the iMessage app though it will just open up automatically we'll wait for that what happened didn't open up okay uh, let's give it a try yes uh, it's just two columns okay I think it's wanting us to add in few more icons let's try this as well okay and this as well some more yep so we have uh, some stickers added as well and we'll just change this to uh, the sticker size of two columns so let's give it a try and let's see how it is rendered on the on the iMessages app tray okay so let's open this up okay yes that's two columns okay so this is how your app is rendered okay so again if you specify four columns the uh, the stickers will be shrunk it will be smaller okay so let's see that as well seems to be a bug here <laughs> what's going on oops it's crashing the iMessages app within the simulator is crashing but that doesn't deter us from testing it okay so you have a four columns being rendered on the sticker pack app tray all right so as you have seen it is so simple to build a sticker pack app in the coming tutorials we'll be doing a deep dive into the iMessages platform so please 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 subscribe to the channel if you like this video please hit the like button and if you have any doubts on this tutorial please reach me out in the comment section i'll be happy to help as always so see you on the next time cheers